Helldivers is the rare game that knows exactly what it wants to do and does it with complete confidence and authority. So much more than just another twin stick shooter, it presents us with incredibly varied mission sandboxes and tactical options, then respects our intelligence enough to let us figure it all out on our own or with three friends. The result is some of the most white knuckle co-op action I've ever experienced. From the opening cinematic, Helldivers wears its Starship Troopers influences on its sleeve. The tongue-in-cheek, over-the-top way in which it sets up the ongoing war between the aliens and our homeworld, Super Earth, is a clear nod to director Paul Verhoeven's film, and it lends the action a delicious sense of both humor and danger. This questionable galactic war is fought on three fronts against the tech-heavy Illuminate, the gun-toting cyborgs, and the Tyranid-esque bugs known simply as, uh, bugs. Each faction brings a diverse set of units to bear, requiring you to either adapt your tactics or die a horrible death. You'll be hard pressed to fight cyborgs without some sort of anti-armor weaponry, and failing to prepare for close quarters engagements when fighting the bugs is usually a fatal mistake. Every online match of Helldivers feeds into this three-pronged war, with each front's greatest contributors being cleverly immortalized with an ever-present leaderboard. The galactic map interface does a great job of communicating the community's progress too, creating a constant sense of purpose. The real magic, though, happens when you start unlocking more of Helldiver's large arsenal of perks, weapons, upgrades, and equipment calldowns called stratagems. After over 25 hours, I still haven't gotten everything, and from disposable anti-tank weapons to gun-covered troop carriers, every piece of gear feels meaningful since each ends up being particularly useful for certain objectives or against particular foes. Capture or defend objectives call for sentry turrets, where snow-covered maps might tempt you to bring an exosuit or a jump pack to make traversal a little bit easier. No matter what you bring to the fight, though, Helldiver's meaty sound effects convey the action convincingly. Whether you're squeezing the last few rounds out of a heavy machine gun or obliterating a screen full of enemies with a thundering artillery strike. Many of these delightful bits of kit are designed to facilitate cooperative play. The recoilless rifle, for instance, comes with a separate supply pack with extra ammo. You could carry it yourself, but the reload time between shots will make it pretty impractical to use. Have a buddy carry the supply pack, though, and they can walk right up to you and toss in another shell in the blink of an eye. Touches like this make a full party of four feel like a cohesive fighting unit, where every member is more powerful than they would be alone. Helldiver's drop-in co-op makes forming a party easy from the couch, online, or a mix of both. Which is fortunate, because while going solo can be rewarding in its own right, you can only get so far on your own. The fact that virtually everything is deadly, be it friend or foe, makes every mission tense. Drop pods bringing a fresh supply of ammo might unceremoniously turn a teammate to goo, or a poorly placed airstrike might do more harm than good. But. When you and your team fire on all cylinders to turn back the intense waves of enemies coming your way long enough to dramatically hop in a dropship and make a narrow escape, the sense of accomplishment is positively euphoric. It isn't the prettiest game you can play on PS4, PS3, or Vita, but Helldivers is one of the most exhilarating. And you'll get all three versions for the price of one. It pits you against seemingly impossible odds arms you with a powerful, diverse tool set, and then empowers you and a group of people to put the pieces together. And they all fit together beautifully. For more on Helldivers, stick with IGN.